Hello dear students, my name is Pratim Shah, I am a final year student of IPGM at Kolkata. Okay, today we will be starting on the mnemonics of the floral formula and inferences. Mainly, we will discuss on the floral formula. Okay, these things I have uh, seen that many students are confused and they cannot remember in the exam. Okay, so I will try to simplify it and with the mnemonics so that you can better understand and retain it to the exam. Okay, so there are three types of family of the uh, floral flowering plants one is fabiaceae two is solanaceae and three is liliaceae okay? three things you have to remember fabiaceae solanaceae and liliaceae okay three flowers three types of flowers are bisexual so this sign is represent the bisexual uh, bi bisexuality of the three family of the flowers okay so the mnemonics is the f a cell f for football super league football super league f a cell so you have to arrange this with 1, 2 and 3. So, first one is F for Fabiaceae, second one is this order is very important because in this order we can uh, build up the mnemonics. Okay, so the order you have to remember, 1 is Fabiaceae, 2 is Solanaceae and third one is Liliaceae. Okay, so in the first one we can see this sign is what? Zygote actinomorphic, this one is zygomorphic so bilaterally symmetrical zygomorphic both sides are similar symmetrical and this sign is actinomorphic so it is radially symmetrical so two and three are radially symmetrical flowers and first one is zygomorphic bilaterally symmetrical okay so in every case we can see that the ovary is superior or inferior the ovary is superior the ovary is superior so this will this will be what is what will be called hypogyny, perigyny, or epigyny? So thalamus is inferior. Here thalamus is inferior. In three cases, every cases thalamus is inferior. So this will be called as hypo or epi. This is known as hypogyny. So I told you earlier in the earlier session that the naming will be based upon on the thalamus. Here thalamus is inferior, so the naming will be hypogyny. But ovary is superior in every three cases. So one is fabiaceae. So there is one ovary. In two solanaceae, there will be two ovary. And the three liliaceae, there will be three ovary. Very simple. Okay. One for say fabiaceae, one ovary, two ovary, and three ovary. Okay. Now come to the fabiaceae part. Here the serial number will be one. So here you can see that in every case in the corolla and the androsium, there will be one. One will be present in corolla and androsium. So, in that case, uh, in the option, if you see that one in calyx and corolla, then you straight forward mark fabiaceae group. Okay. The, you straight forward mark fabiaceae. This is a clue. In the second clue, in the second serial number, there will be what letter? Five letters. So, land AC. AC is common in three families. So, here is five letters. S O L A N. So, five will be found in the calyx, corolla and androsium part. Very simple. There is 5, here is 5, here is also 5. So, in the option you can, see, if you see the 5 letter in, in the 5 number in calyx, corolla and androsium, then you need straight mark solanaceae. Okay. This straight mark solanaceae. You will save many seconds in the exam. Okay. This will be crucial for physics, chemistry and uh, other parts. Here, there will, you can solve many questions if you save the time. Okay. And third one is liliaceae. Here, one thing is special that in the liliaceae part, you can see the perianth. You can see the perianth. Okay. You can see the perianth. So, perianth is nothing but the calyx and corolla fused, but calyx and corolla is known as perianth. If, if it is attached together, calyx and corolla, then it will be called perianth. Okay. So, so the third serial number, here the third serial number, and there will be three. There will be three. There will be all will be three. So first we can remember Fabius, second Solanaceae, the three Lilias. The serial number will be important to grab the memory. Okay. okay. One thing, it is actinomorphic, it is also known as bracketed flower. Bracketed flower. Okay. Bracketed flower is nothing but the modified leaf at the base of the pedicle. Okay. It is associated with the reflectic structure flower. Okay. This is known as Lilias. Okay. So I, I will I told you earlier the let the first serial number will be important. F is first serial number of the uh, for formula. So F is first, second is S, S for solanaceae, F for fabiaceae, and L for liliaceae. Okay. The fabiaceae in the fabiaceae group of flowers, the leguminous plants are important. The leguminous plants are P, 
सेकेंड वन इज बी बीन एंड थर्ड वन इज स्वाबीन ओके थर्ड वन इज स्वाबीन द एस्टिवेशन फाउंड इन द करोला ओके सो एस्टिवेशन फाउंड इन द करोला इन द दिस इज द करोला दिस इज द करोला द एस्टिवेशन फाउंड इन द करोला इज भेक्सिलरी एस्टिवेशन आई विल टेल आई विल टेल यू द एस्टिवेशन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ओके वट इज द मेमोरीज ऑफ द एस्टिवेशन एंड द इन द कैलिक्स पार्ट द एस्टिवेशन फाउंड इज वट वेलवेट वेलवेट एस्टिवेशन ओके इन द वेक्सिलरी एस्टिवेशन वन थिंग इज वेरी स्पेशल दैट इज स्किल what this is skill skill is so skill is present in the vexillary estivation and in the calyx there will be velvet estivation of the fabiaceae group okay so you have to remember that leguminous plants are in the group of fabiaceae and there is skill present in the corolla and calyx in the calyx a velvet estivation is present okay i will tell you the mnemonics of the estivation you can easily remember it okay so the serial number is important so one serial number is fabiaceae so there will be ovary will be unilocular uni means one and unicarpellary very simple unilocular and unicarpellary and the racemos is the inflorescence you can see the racemos is the inflorescence of the fabiaceae and race two are the cymos inflorescence okay the cymos inflorescence okay economic importance of the fabiaceae group the pulses the like mugdal and the sam san hemp is a very good quality fiber indicofera is a dye and sesvinia trifolia folium is a food okay food okay this thing you have to remember and the next string is second second serial number second serial number we have found that solanaceae group okay solanaceae is five letter s o l a n solanaceae so there will be everything will be five everything will be five okay you can tick the correct answer within a second if you know know the mnemonics okay if you know the mnemonics you can correct it within a second so the mnemonics will be p c t proximal convoluted tubule you have found uh, in the kidney theek hai proximal convoluted tubule okay the p for petunia it is used as ornamental okay many flowers are used as ornamental in the wedding season okay you have known that so p means potato and petunia p means potato and petunia c means chili okay and t means tomato and tobacco so p c t is the mnemonic and extra you can add b p c t B is the whole mnemonic. B for brinzal and B for belladonna. Belladonna is also used previously as a medicine. Okay, from the belladonna, medicines are extracted. Okay, and the serial number is the B. So the ovary will be bilocular and bicarpellary. Simple. So serial along the serial number you can find found and build up the mnemonic. And this is cymos inflorescence. I have told you earlier that the uh, the first one is racemos and race towards the cymos inflorescence. Okay, and the third part. Third part is and the third part is liliaceae so in the liliaceae the special character is perianth the calyx are corolla attached together so perianth is present okay first is perianth is present and the second one is it is the velvet present uh, estivation is found in the liliaceae family the velvet estivation is found in the liliaceae family you have to remember this and this is trilocular because the serial number is third so this is trilocular and this is tricarpellary okay the example in the example we can build up the mnemonic that the tca okay tri carboxylic acid cycle so the krebs cycle okay tca very simple tulip is the ornamental tulip is ornamental second is colchicium okay second is one is colchicium col Colchicium. In from the colchicium, we have found the colchicine. It is a very good drug for the acute gout. There will be two types of gout: gouty arthritis. Okay, one is acute gout, and second one is chronic gout. Colchicine is used in the acute gout because the sodium crystals are deposited in the joint space. It will trigger the inflammation. It will trigger the inflammation. When the inflammation is triggered, the neutrophil from the blood goes to the joint and the inflammation sets in and the pain starts and the redness starts so if you block the inflammatory substance to the joint so you can reduce the inflammation so the main aim of the colchicine drug is the prevent it prevents the neutrophil migration okay it prevent the neutrophil migration so it will prevent the neutrophil migration and will, it will reduce the inflammation so it will reduce the inflammation so very characteristically it is Uh, told that the colchicine drug drunk in the neutrophils 
it will drunken the neutrophil. So, if the neutrophils are drunk, so it cannot function properly. Okay. So, the inflammation does not set in. Okay. So, the third example is A, A for asparagus. A for asparagus. So, the complete mnemonic is T, C, A. I have told you the T for tulip. So, you have known the mnemonics T, uh, BMC pot means hypogyny. So, I have told you these mnemonics. You can see that BMC pot means hypogyny, the mnemonics. So, there is the tulip. So, tulip is also the example of hypogyny. Here you can say that this is the hypogyny. So, thalamus is inferior. I told you that the naming will be dependent upon the thalamus and the as the ovary is superior. So, it is also known as superior ovary, superior ovary. But the main naming will be dependent upon the thalamus. So, it is all three are example of hypogyny, hypogyny. So, I told you once more time the F for first, second is S, L for third. If you do not remember FSL, you can remember by the naming of FSL, Football Super League. Okay? Thank you guys. Please like, please like, share and support us. With, you can share with the video with your friends. It will definitely help you in the final exam. Okay? Thank you guys. Stay with us. See you in the next video.